everyone, it's Kylie Batucci, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Australia. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, konnichiwa, konbanwa, namaste. How is everyone? Good to see you all chatting and saying hello. I like to have my little section at the front. It was interesting, I was literally about to go live and then I looked at my shelf and my efficient husband is listing all our retired products and the shelves were empty this whole shelf this one here was empty and I'm like oh it looks so ugly or as they would say in Tagalog it's so pung it so ugly <laughs> so I quickly ran into the other room I'm like what can I fill up my shelf with and this one look at this one over here it's looking a bit sad and sorry but that's okay we understand it's a transition. There's things happening around here. <laughs> so how is everyone? <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Jamie. Good to see you all here. It's so nice. I can't believe how quickly the weeks are flying. There's so much happening. Oh, thank you, Pam. That's so sweet of you. 20 kilograms officially today. <gasps> I did a happy dance. <laughs> I don't know what that is in pounds. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Ready, we'll try. Hey, Google, what is 20 kilograms in pounds? 20 kilograms equal 44.092 pounds. 44! Almost 45. I can say 45 pounds. I much prefer pounds when it says, how much have you lost? 45. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the shelves are getting, like, it's really going to disappear really quickly. But we've got to get on to it. So, thanks everyone. Thank you. I get it though. Seriously, I've needed to do it for about 16 years. So, <laughs> I put it on the first year of our marriage and pretty much never took it off since. <laughs> so, it's good to finally do it. I had to eat that frog. Well, maybe not eat it. <laughs> That's the key. Hello everyone. <laughs> yes, very exciting. <laughs> Thank you everyone. So what has been happening? Firstly, did you see Bruno's card in our blog? He did an awesome job using the Stamparatus. He did some, um, he did a little bit of stamping, then wiped it, then stamping in different places and created his own little pattern here. Um, Jamie asked what I'm doing it's really amazing like if you if you ask people we make a joke about it but it's like how do you lose weight stop eating <laughs> it's, but it's really hard to do I think it's actually more emotional than anything else so I think I worked on a lot of emotional things and got to the bottom of why I am eating the wrong things so I think that's probably it's more than the we all know what to do and we all kind of know how to do it, but I think it's more the emotional stuff. So yeah, I've been working through that, which has been really nice, it's good. We need to face all these things. I think I, I think I got to 40 and thought, you know what, I'll go and face everything. Can't, can't keep putting my head in the sand. <laughs> I've got to face all these issues. Yes, we all have issues. Even the happy people. Even the happy people have issues. So yeah, that's Bruno's gorgeous card. Oh, you didn't even wipe it. You just started with a lighter colour, then moved to darker. Clever Bruno Batucci. Oh. So this is it on my blog. I had it ready to go. Uh, there it is. So I'll show you this. Because, you know, I love, I love showing a bit of my screen. This is our blog, KylieBatucci.com. You can click here to find out more about me. Well, us, because Bruno's mentioned there as well. But um, yeah, Bruno's taken over my blog and he did. He smashed out three cards in one evening. We haven't shown you the other two yet. They're coming. I'm spacing them out. <laughs> so definitely check out and he's got all the information of what he used at the bottom. So you can click on them and then you go to our store, which is really awesome. Starts with art bundle. So that's that one. And... We've also got, uh, what else did I have? Actually, I'll show you the other blog posts we did this week because there's lots of exciting things that 
have happened this week. There's always something happening here. Really exciting. So let's see how this goes. Yay. There I am. I'll go this side. That's better. Okay. So we've got uh, the brand new annual catalog is here. I know. It's really exciting. I can't believe it launched on Tuesday. P.S. Thank you everyone so much who has ordered so far. You've all blown our minds. Some of the orders that have come through, I'm like, why didn't they join? <laughs> I've been telling them that they should join. No, you're welcome to just shop with us. We, we love it. Whatever you want to do, we're happy with. But we do want to help you try and find a bargain because this catalogue is jam-packed. You want to get that 20% off, even if it's just to get all the things you love. Uh, but we have been blown away. Thank you so much to all our beautiful customers. You'll go in the special draw that I am going to announce the winner of on Wednesday. And only those in the VIP group will know what that special prize is. Pretty good prize, I must say. <laughs> It's the week kickoff launch of the new catalog. We're going to spoil you all because you spoil us. And yeah, it's amazing. There's like beautiful, beautiful bundles. Look at these bundles. I've added, um, oh, look, I'm holding the catalog and it's not even in the screen because it's so tiny. <laughs> How beautiful is it? I can get one, one of my eyes in. <laughs> but there's me in the video. So if you haven't watched that video, it literally is a blow by blow of every single page. In fact, it was so good for me because I realized I hadn't taken time because we have just been so busy in this household that I hadn't taken time to really go through it and digest things. So I was discovering stamp sets as I was going along. I'm like, what is that stamp set? I haven't seen that stamp set. So yeah, check it out. And look at these beautiful bundles. It's the first time that Stampin' Up! have actually uh, created a suite. So it's not just the normal bundle. So I'll show you here. So for instance, if you click on this image here, it will take you to our store. And hopefully. <laughs> and it will have the whole suite. So you're going to get all of these... So it's not just the stamp and the dies, but you're also getting the paper, you're getting the laser tin, um, the laser cut cards and tin, you're getting very vanilla lace um, ribbon, and it's the whole roll, not just that little tiny bow that you see there. The trinkets, it's the whole packet of trinkets. So it's a really good thing if you know that you love everything in that suite, it's just, it saves you a lot of time, basically. And we know we want the lot. We're like, give us a lot, give us it all. So that's a really exciting new thing that you may not be aware of. And I do explain a little bit of that in my video as well. But in case you missed that video, please be aware of that because it's an awesome new addition. Hi, Angie. Thanks for sharing, Angie. Yep, Rachel gets the catalog out and she is just like loving it. Yeah, this catalog this year is just, it's blown my mind. It is just so incredible. Hi, Ellen. Good to see you here. Oh, so nice to see you all. So many here. It's awesome. Hello, hello, hello. I just scrolled through all my comments. Beautiful. Yeah, and the Stampin' Up! are shipping the orders very, very quickly. I think ours is coming Wednesday next week, but we did order up quite a bit. A lot. <laughs> so definitely check out this post because it has all of, well, it doesn't even actually include all of the suites. I've just done some of them. So there's more suites. So if you go to my store, you can actually go to the section where it has suites and um, see product suites and it will have them all there so you can click on any of those and it will have them all for you which is really really awesome I really like this edition particularly uh, with the Magnolia Lane I know that that's one that my customers have voted on and said absolutely it's just the best and it's kind of nice seeing it when you click on the bundle section actually I might even 
use that link that's interesting because this shows everything that you get in the suite which i think is a lot better seeing it like that because then you realize just how much is in that that one suite so I'll, I'll say it again but this suite here if you were to get everything in this one suite so the whole suite here $234.75 if you add that to your starter kit and you can watch my video to see how to do that I have a step-by-step -step, um, little tutorial for everyone then you can get it for $169 instead of $235 and you get free postage so if you know that you want this definitely adding that to your starter kit is a winner 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 chicken dinner <laughs> So that is that one. So check that out. There's lots of cool things there. Uh, we've got our, oh, the new inserts. So please come and check this out. Um, I didn't get to do a, oh no, I did do a prototype. I wanted to show you how to create your own little case. Uh, here it is here. So if you go over to my uh, store, it is different to my online store. So you will need to create a login. It's not the Stampin' Up! store. It's like our digital and retired product store. We only sell the retired product to peeps in Australia. That's the policy from Stampin' Up! Um, but all the digital stuff, anyone in the world is welcome to uh, purchase because we have tutorials and training and all sorts of cool stuff over there. So you can actually purchase the cases, which are just the best. And you get four in each pack. So $10 and you get four cases, which is really affordable. And then you can come over and basically click on this image here and come over and download the PDF inserts for your, this is how it will print out. And I'll show you how to chop that because basically it creates an insert and Sarah Berry, props to her, she's been doing this for quite some time with lots of different embellishments. So I've got it on my blog, head over to her store as well. She's got the similar store to us, the Shopify store. And um, yeah, she's been doing like all sorts of different inserts, but yeah, a lot of people were asking for these particular um, designer series paper, the new paper and it's done. I feel very good about having that complete. So I just want to show you, I'll just get my little clean out case. I have plenty of them on hand. <laughs> I do try personally, I do try and use a whole pack all in one go. That's usually my goal because I feel like if I don't use it, but a lot of people don't necessarily need that amount in bulk either. So um, you know, it may not suit you to do all 72 cards in one go, whereas we do customer cards and team cards and um, swaps and all sorts of things. So it definitely comes in handy for us. Um, so I'll just have a look here. I want to show you briefly just how I chop it. Love it, chop it. And if you're not part of our Love It Chop It Club, please check that out because it's just so much fun. And you don't, I noticed there was a, there was a post on one of the um, leaders groups and um, it was quite funny because she's like, before you all chop it, just think about what you're doing before you chop. You know, you may not, you might regret it later. And, you know, it's a very valid point. You might regret it later. You have to be very careful when you chop because you can't go back once you chop. <laughs> but what, um, and a few commented on the post, which was really nice to see. Uh, but ultimately, you can cut your paper however you want. I'm not saying that this is the B end. I don't even know what that saying is. <laughs> It's literally gone. But anyway, basically, it's just so that we don't hoard our paper. Because if you are someone who's not using your paper, this is the perfect system for you. Because this was the situation I was in. I was hoarding big time because I just loved the paper too much. It was too beautiful to chop. I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to chop it. So all you're going to do is come in 
and see where all the lines are. So you can see that there's little lines. So what I like to leave last is this one up the top here because it's easy to follow. You, you have the, basically the top of the, anyway, I'll show you. I'll show you. So you just line it up with each, so here, there's a line down the bottom here as well. So line that up, cut that, then you line it up again with the next cut, chop that, then your next cut, which is down here, and then the top one, now you don't have any guides left, but that's okay because our guide is the top of the title. See what I mean? And then, hopefully, oh, I probably didn't print it at 100%. Which is what I actually instruct people to do. I don't even follow my own advice. It looks very small. So I'm thinking it's it's not. So you just fold that over. Or actually what's even better to do is put it in. <laughs> I didn't print it at 100%. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't print it at 100%. <laughs> Silly computers. Why do they always go to 90 I mean, it's not bad, but you want it to fit properly. You want it to look spot on. See, it's it was printed at 96. I don't know why it has a default of 96%. Like, who wants it at 96%? But anyway, giving you the idea. So now, when you chop it to our Love It Chop It size, which is, if you have our card templates, that it's the Poppy Parade. But just to show you exactly what size that is, these card templates are the best. So that's the size if you're doing inches, that's what size you're gonna be chopping it. And that will be a card front. And you can just put them in there, they're ready to go. And from there, you don't have to just use the whole piece, you could chop it down however you want. So please check out my other videos because it will show you what to do. But for now, you can just store it as the full. I know some in the US do it um, four by six and they find that good, but personally I like it ready to go, done at the size that I want um, because then I'm more likely to use it. Because if I've got to chop it again, it's like why chop it again? Just chop it the first time, the right size. Um, so it's perfect for a card front. I'm making sure I'm putting it in the right one. So that's for it, that's for the US and and uh, Canada that size that inches. Do not follow it if you're anywhere else in the world in your inches, because your inches is different because you use A4 cardstock. So your inches is this one here, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Completely different size. If you use inches in Australia, well, basically the rest of the world. So UK, um, that's very annoying. UK, uh, what else have we got here? We've got our A4 one as well. And this may have disappeared. That one definitely has a little walkabout. I think it has, you know. But anyway, the other one is, <laughs> I'll blame Bruno. Bruno stole it. <laughs> He actually, it's really interesting, but he loves these templates now. It's so funny. I hear him going, I just love these templates. I love them because they convert into a lot of different measurements and they're very, very handy. But the Australian measurement is 10.4. Take that back, 14.4 by 10. So that's the Aussie, well, rest of the world if you work in, in centimetres with A4. So they're the sizes, and then you're going to be putting that into your little case. So it's just a really great way to, if you know that you are, oh, it's going in the Magnolia Lane case. <laughs> no, go in your card template base. And you can get this card template insert on our store as well as you can see well you can't see the screen but it was the first thing on the screen but I'll just show you here what you can do to add these clear like all the cases but there's a drop down it has all of them here so you can literally just say add to cart and then do the next one add to cart oh, it's a bit annoying that it um oh you know what the best thing to do is just press the backspace that's, that's really annoying that it doesn't default to go back. 
would be good if you could just go tick, 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 tick. Now I understand because there was a few people that um, that did individual ones, but you don't have to do them individually. You can just go add to cart and then here just press the back button. That's definitely the easiest way to do it because, yeah, who wants to go searching again? So it'll all add there and then you can just check out and it'll all be free. So that is how you do it. You will need to create an account though because I need your email address to be able to give you your goodies. So that's the explanation about that. If you have any questions about my card templates or the inserts, please ask. And if you see any errors, just send me a message. I did it very late last night. I did hopefully check it and recheck. That was the idea. But I have been known to miss a few things. So if you notice something a little bit not quite right, then just let me know. Um, is there anything there? Oh, good. So many happy, happy people would love it. Chop it. Good, thank you, Shelley. Good, ordered them all today. So yeah, it's just really handy um, just to keep everything in order. And also it's good because then you know what you have as well, because sometimes we'll order another pack of paper and we've actually already got it. So that's a really, really handy tip. Where's your dobber do? Happy to help. It helps me and means that people are using their paper and we're collecting our paper, which is awesome. Oh, that's so nice, Laurie. She's been watching my catalog video. <laughs> we had a lot of fun in that catalog video. It was great. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so that's all of the Love It Chop It. So please come over and have a look. Now, the other thing to keep in mind when you're on that store, we are doing an uh, the All Stars Blog Hop, the All Stars Tutorial Bundle Blog Hop tonight. And we are a team of demonstrators from around the world, top demonstrators from around the world. And we have created a new tutorial bundle because it is June. Now, a lot of people struggle with ideas. Oh, we love you too, Laurie. Thank you for your support. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so I'll just bring this. Let's have a look here. Yeah, that works. So this is the tutorial bundle for June. Uh, I use the Mary Ellen Byler new stamp set. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Like, I am in love. Go Mary Ellen, you've, you've rocked it, girl. She's a married woman now. So happy for her. She had lots of, lots of helpers, which was nice at the wedding day. Lots of stamping up peeps. So, uh, yeah, you can see here we've got the beautiful bird ballad. We've got a lot of these new stamp sets. That's the parcels. Some um, Sam's used one that we've got before, which is great, you know, seeing one that we've had previously, um, which is, yeah, really, really exciting. Actually, no, this one I think is a new one too. I think it's because I saw it at on stage. It feels like, yes, it's one of the host stamp sets. Believe you can. Yep. So pretty much, I'm I'm pretty sure, yep, it looks like every single one of them are brand new products. And uh, you're going to get a lot, you can see the Magnolia is so popular. So you're going to get a lot of ideas from that tutorial bundle. It's $20 Australian. You get 12 amazing tutorials from really great artists. And you are going to be inspired. It's just going to help you create quicker and easier. So to get that, it's very simple. You can just head over to our store and it's under, I'll put the link here as well. But yeah, for the $20, it'll just save you a lot of time and effort. You're welcome to use it at any of your workshops, classes, anything like that. The only thing we request is that you don't pass it on to people because we work really hard. If they want the tutorial to keep themselves, um, then if you can just direct them to our store, we would be so thrilled because that keeps us being able to do this for you, which we love. And my customers get this tutorial bundle free, which is really cool. And my team. The team get it for free as well. I like spoiling my team and my customers. <laughs> so 
So that's the link there. And when you go to that link, um, there's actually a choice uh, of what you want. So just make sure you're picking June. I made sure it was up the top to make it a little bit easier. Um, but in case you're a, a bit confused as to which one to add to your cart, then it's the June one that I've just shown you. So that's the most up to date. So that's that. Uh, and what else did we have? Uh, I think I wanted to show you. Hi, Giovanna. I'm going to be doing random act of kindness at the end. We're going to create, I am creating today. I want to use the brand new uh, note cards. They're on page 168. And they're probably card, note cards that you've missed or you've thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I'll use them. Um, but page 168, if you are new to, to crafting and you have never stamped before, then I've got a really simple stamping technique for you particularly. But also the simple stamping works very well for those who are in a hurry or you need a card really quickly. And we've all been in a, a situation like that where we're like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I need a card stat. <laughs> yes, it is time to come back to Stampin' Up, Jade. <laughs> yeah, this new catalog is amazing. It's the best, the best deal is definitely to sign up. Wow, I can't even say that word, Donna. Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, I'll try. <laughs> I think, um, Donna, you gave, did you give me the pin when we met in um, Orlando? I'm pretty sure I remember getting a pin from you. You can tell me or not. You can tell me if I'm right. I remember it was after lunch one of the days in one of the breakout rooms. I'm pretty sure. We'll see if my memory's right. <laughs> uh, so let's have a look. I don't think there's any other... Post. Oh yes, there's one more post I want to show you because watching from Windy Wellington. So I want to show you this one here. So our international highlight, please come over to our blog. It is actually in the popular post. It's number one. It's a very popular post. I've made sure I've hidden my votes so you don't know who I've voted for. Uh, but you can come over here and vote for your top five favourites. I know it's going to be really hard because there's so many beautiful cards. Michelle, your card is so beautiful and I love this one that um, Kristen, Kirsten has made. It's like, oh, Suzanne, look at all of your beautiful cards. So come over, have a look. Angie's done a gorgeous one. She said so many beautiful words. Thank you, Angie. Um, yeah, so come over, click, have a look, see these beautiful cards. Rick, he's done an incredible job doing a uh, beautiful masculine card. It's gorgeous. It's like one of my regular cards. <laughs> All my cards end up masculine. <laughs> but yeah, you can come over, have a look at their posts and comment. Oh, look, no naked card, Rick. You're the best. So yes, please come over and have a look at this beautiful, beautiful gallery of products. The theme is encouragement, because we all need encouragement. Love this technique of putting thinlets in the background. Beautiful, amazing. So just don't miss that one, okay? And make sure you do your voting, because it's really fun. And the other thing that was a lot of fun too was my customer cards. So if you place an order with us, this could be one of the cards that you receive. We have a lot of different cards, but yeah, we made some cards, beautiful cards. We've got um, some of the gorgeous uh, Magnolia Lane uh, cards as well that we're sending. So there's a lot of beautiful cards. And this is the Love It Chop It, of course. We love Love It Chop It, it's the best. And they look fantastic. So nice to use the paper and make it the hero. And what was the other one I had here? I wanted to show you our 10 year anniversary post. So check that out, that's in the popular post as well. But all the beautiful cards and gifts that we received, thank you all so much. And I'll show you a few more at the end of this video today. There were so many beautiful cards we received from around the world, flowers and chocolates from my team leader, Sue. I even got a plaque. All the way from the UK, Rachel Burkett sent that for me. 
so this one here is amazing. Like so clever. Lisa and Nicole Peterson, or Lisa Peterson and Nicole Bonner <laughs> created this and it's so clever. I showed Jessie on Wednesday and she's like, that's really clever. The way she's done Crazy Crafters team and Jess even got a mention. She was like, oh, I mentioned on there. She loved it. <laughs> So lots of beautiful cards to come and have a look at there as well. Thank you all very much. We're so grateful to Stampin' Up! We're so grateful to celebrate 10 years with this amazing company. And we can't believe what it's... Yeah, we just can't believe it. We feel so appreciative to everyone and to the company for everything that's happened. So a lot's happening, as I said. Crazy stuff. Lots of fun, fun things. Uh... So that looks like, I do want to show you the beginner's brochure though. So for those that are just starting out, because it will fit perfectly with the card that I'm making today. And if you're just starting out, probably don't have a look at the um, online store yet, because <laughs> it may overwhelm you. <laughs> In fact, it will overwhelm you. <laughs> so we'll have a look at the brochure and show you that after our little crafting session and what we've got here i'll just make sure i've got the split screen right yes looking happy okay yep yeah. there we go so what we're going to do is use these beautiful scalloped cards and they come with beautiful envelopes as well and when I first saw them I was like oh how do I use these so that yeah I'm getting the most out of these beautiful colors and what's interesting is Stampin Up have called it uh, balmy blue old olive terracotta tile I actually at first thought it was calypso coral but it is a little bit darker it has that more like autumn color to it just lift that light up a bit that's better and this one here they actually call it light pink which I was really surprised with I was like it's not blushing and it's not petal hi hey, shadow. yeah I just fixed it okay. <laughs> Brett's like there's a bit of shadow <laughs> this is much better so yes this one here I was a bit confused as to which color to use with it so I went with Blushing Bride, but I haven't tried Petal Pink on there. I'm sure it'll look great too, but it's kind of a mix of Petal Pink. I mean, uh, yeah, Petal Pink and Blushing Bride. Now, what I thought I'd do to start with was the lighter one. It was a little bit easier because what we can do, and again, this is just super simple stamping and we want to make it really easy. Now you do not need to have a stamper artist. You can totally just stamp it because it's um, photopolymer. So it's really easy just to see through and stamp. But I have used my stamper artist today. And the reason for that, I will show you. I'm using this stamp set here. It's a brand new one. Bloom and Grow. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Now the interesting thing about this stamp set is that you may not realize is that the images are actually at 70 percent so you're looking at this and going oh that's great yeah they're perfect i'll probably have to stamp it a couple of times and then you open it and you're like what they just suddenly grew they suddenly got huge so this one here <laughs> this big flower here is actually this one here so you can see it's like significantly bigger in real life. So just keep a note of that, that it's a really, really big stamp. It's much bigger than you expect. So we're going to do the, uh, what is it? You are simply wonderful. That's the sentiment I chose. Because you all are. You're just simply wonderful people. Crafters are the best. They're such sweet people. And then we're going to come in. I've added my little mat because we're using photopolymer. We want a little bit of spring here so it's easier to stamp on. And I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put my magnet if I can find it. Everything disappears in this room. 
I'm telling you, it gets legs and it walks away. It's like, ha ha, ha ha ha, I'm gonna hide from you. I'm playing hide and seek. The other day I did a video and it, I'd put it back. <laughs> no, I have no idea where it is. Literally gone, vanished. It probably dropped down actually. What are we gonna do with Kylie? So I'll use my broken one because I did a really bad thing and I'm sure some of you have done the same. You can learn from my mistake. But I, they somehow connected with one another and because they connected with one another, they smashed. But I'm still using the little pieces because sometimes it's quite handy to have a smaller piece. <laughs> Look at them, they're all together. They're all happily stuck together. You watch, it'll turn up. I should even put washi tape on these. Look at me. I'm looking around the room like, where are you, little magnet? Where did you disappear to? And it's so cute. I even put washi on it and everything. Oh my goodness, I cannot even rip these apart. That's how strong these magnets are. <laughs> you got to laugh at yourself, don't you? <laughs> Oh, Kylie. There we go. I've got my little magnet now. <laughs> Just as long as it's just, you know, sort of keeping it in place, keeping it at bay. <laughs> you stay there, little one. And then I'm going to come in with my memento, or you can use stays on. It really doesn't matter because we're not doing any colouring. So either one, whatever you prefer. A little handy tip when you're, when you're um, doing your inking, if you don't have anything underneath the lid, it's sort of a bit crooked. It's not a drama, but it's just nice to put a, a block underneath. And then it's sort of, well, actually, what is even better is a stamp case. With a stamp case, it sits flush. It's really nice and flat. And you can ink easily. Just ink that up. Now, because it's on coloured cardstock, what I found personally, I stamp that. Bring it back up again for you. So give it a good push down. Now, I love it. It's beautiful, but it's just a little bit light. See how it sort of fades off. So I'm going to come in just a couple of times. And that's what I love about the Stamparatus. You, you know, you could try and do that by eye. And that would be fine if you don't have a Stamparatus tool. But I love the fact that you can come in a couple of times and really make that sentiment pop. I want it to be nice and strong. Uh, lovely Bruno Batucci, can you please turn me down? It's very distracting hearing my voice double. I'm, I'm very happy you're watching me from the other room. <laughs> but do you have some headphones or something like that? I'm like hearing me go, yeah, and then, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ugh. Who's, what's that voice? <laughs> so how beautiful is that? And that's our card. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I need some flowers. But you could, you literally could do that if you wanted to. That's how simple you can keep it. Because these cards are beautiful. But we'll step it up. So we will go to this one here. Oh, that's better, Bruno. Thank you. <gasps> the silence. It's so lovely. Blushing Bride, yes, and I'm going to stamp that, making sure that you're in view. And what I thought would be nice is to just do, at first I was going to do it in the centre, which you, you can, we can try that and see what it looks like on both edges, uh, but I thought I would go for more of a like corner. Oh, and before we stamp, it's a good idea to have your, I've got a few of them. Where's my little, oh, there it is. There you are. Are you, are you hiding my magnet too over there? Cheeky thing. Yeah, have your stamp and pierce mat because it gives it some, and because we're stamping off, actually, I'll get a piece of the, six by six grid paper which is on the Stampin' Up store and it's so cute it's the best 
protects your work unlike what I've done before. This is what happens if you don't look after your stamped and fierce mat. What a grot. Mm, yeah, I like that. So I'm going to sort of come in as close as I can to that sentiment. But it really is, you cannot go wrong with this. So don't even stress about the placement because anything is going to look beautiful. So we stamp that and I'll do it over this side as well. Now, be careful here. If we stamped on here at the bottom, it would go into this white area. We don't want that. So we're going to open it up, but you can't open it up for the top one because then it would go over there. So you just got to do a different thing for each side. And we'll just stamp. Yeah. Oh, and can you believe that is our card today? Can you believe it? Simple stamping to the max times a hundred times affinity. But how beautiful is that? If you received that from a friend, would you not be happy? <gasps> I'd be ecstatic. I'd be so happy. And then we can do some stamping inside, of course, because we can. But what you have to be careful of, normally I would do it in the corner here, but I don't want it to come out the bottom there. So I'm just going to sort of gravitate to the center bit here. So we can just do a little little piece up here. Whoops. Like that on the inside. And then the same on our envelope because we've got the beautiful envelope that goes with it. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. And again, the same color. Really, really simple stamping. So if you're unsure, if you've never stamped before, uh, you know, these note cards are just so affordable. They are in Australia, you get five of each four colors and it's $14. So you can get the card, just one stamp. And you can see this stamp set is perfect. If you choose a stamp set that has sentiment as well as like flowers or something like that, it really does help. Um, because then you're utilizing it for a number of things. Oh, it was Blushing Bride. And the stamp set is Bloom and Grow. Bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, I go to the sound of music the minute I start using this stamp set. I'm like there on the hills. Oh no, don't sing, Kylie. We're doing karaoke tonight. I've got a gold mi microphone. There's no room for talent in karaoke. <laughs> in fact, if you can sing, you're not allowed to, to play karaoke. <laughs> oh, look how beautiful that is. It's so easy. The stamp set's making me look like a professional. So that is it. You have a beautiful, simple, literally, you could smash out all of these beautiful light pink cards in minutes, absolute minutes. So, and you would be very happy to receive that. You don't even have to do an insert because it's already done for you. It's already whisper white. It looks gorgeous. But do we want to step it up? Yeah, let's do a step up. Because I have a really good idea and I want to show you because it can be a little bit intimidating with the darker ones and you're like well what do we do that's fine for the light one and it probably would work the same with the beautiful balmy blue I know it's the best song isn't it I never tire of that beautiful beautiful movie but actually what we'll do and you can do this with any of these colors. So we are going to get our amazing 
embossing out. Because white embossing is just the best, particularly if you're working with a colour and you don't necessarily want to add layers, but you totally could add a strip. I saw um, Patty Bennett did a card using this scallop um, card and she did such a brilliant job with it. I'll see if I can find it for you because it gives you another sort of idea. Um, what is it called? Scalloped note cards. I'm sure they'll come up. Yes, there we go. Let's go to Patty's blog. She did, and, and that's what inspired me to that. I'm like, you know what? I need to use this beautiful, um, the scallop note cards because it's so handy being able to have the note cards. So that's what Patty did. And she, oh, actually, I thought that was stamping when I first saw it, but she's just added a strip of designer series paper. Amazing! She loved it, chopped it. Good on you, Patty. She's using a paper, added a sentiment, and then fussy cut the flowers. Ah, oh, go, Patty. Oh no, she stamped the flowers. There she, there you go. I love all her pictures. She's so good. So that's it. She just stamped it all out and then stuck it down. Go, Patty Bennett. So that's another idea, a way of stepping it up. But if you didn't have blends or you didn't have a stamp set, then you literally could get a pack of paper with this, but just you need a sentiment. That's all you need to add on. But yeah, you know, we all need a sentiment, right? <laughs> we, all, we all need to add on a sentiment. So let's have a look here. We'll close up our beautiful blushing bride and let's see what we can do with this one. So I think I'll, I'm winging this one. I haven't actually made this one or tried or tested it. They're the funnest. Is that even a word? It is now. It's in Kylie vocabulary. <laughs> Need to get afterpay. That would be the most dangerous thing ever, Jade. I just did a Mimco afterpay yesterday and I'm like, oh, awesome. Mimco. <laughs> So let's see what we can do. I'm thinking, I'm just vibing whether I do, you know what? I'm going to do a dark, an even darker color. I think it's going to pop on the terracotta. Let's do the terracotta. I'm changing my mind. I am a woman. I'm allowed to change my mind. So let's try this and then we can see, because I want it to really pop out and go, Hello, I've, I've been white embossed. Now I need my... Look at me. Looking around again. Ah, oh, it's right in front of me. Are you with my magnet? Where did my magnet go? Who stole my magnet? That's going to be the, the mission today to find it before this video ends. <laughs> I'm just giving this a good clean before we use it on this card and same with the one in my Stamparatus which we'll need that one again too beautiful clean 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 everyone's happy love my chamois if you don't have your chamois it's the best cleaner ever just saying I'm seeing if I can understand Anne why embossing clean off maybe she missed my first card i'll show her because i made this in maybe she'll understand now Anne is deaf by the way everyone so you can say hello to Anne if you haven't met Anne before hi Anne. bruno has to teach me the sign for Anne because i keep forgetting it i'm so naughty so we've done the embossing buddy that takes off any static. We need to do some Versamark and we're going to stamp this with our Versamark. This is like a, a glue really and it keeps your powder on your card which is what we want. Actually I will do the sentiment first because I won't know where to place the flowers. 
I was trying to be tricky and it backfired. Okay. Stamp that. And it's really awesome, even with embossing. If you feel like you don't have enough verse mark, oh, I can see a little bit missing there. And if that, if I hadn't, hadn't have had the stamparatus, it's like it wouldn't have. I wouldn't have realised that until it was too late, until I went to emboss it, and then I'm like, ah, big piece missing. <laughs> oh, it attached to the other ones. Look, it's in a big pile. Good thing we don't need that again. <laughs> Put that aside. And then we'll do some white emboss. Sadly, Stampin' Up! don't sell these trays anymore, but I love mine. It's one of those things I have not been able to let go of. And there's not many things that I don't let go of. I think the other thing that I haven't let go of is the crocodile. Remember the crocodile And the fringe scissors. <laughs> so we're going to heat and boss that powder now, melt that down. Don't be intimidated of embossing. It's a lot easier than you think it is. It's just a matter of getting the Versamark, adding the powder, and then melt. Three steps. So this is just a step up to the card that we did before. Now, this will buckle a little bit, especially the way that I do mine, but as it um, cools down, it will be flat again. But if you're concerned about it not being flat, you can always just put it underneath something to flatten it. So then we'll go back to our flower. Just ink that back up again in case it's lost its ink. And we'll sort of come more in like that. So you really can play around with these flowers. That's what I love about them is you can sort of layer it behind sentiments if you wanted to, or you can um, have it like this as like an accent where you're not showing the whole flower. Don't feel like you have to put the whole flower in the card. It's actually beautiful having it sort of off the page, half on, using it as a frame to your sentiments. And then this one, we'll just do a really little one because we want this to be the focus and then we've got a little one down here. Okay, let's emboss that. No. Where's my embossing tray gone? There it is. It walked away. It's gone, gone, run, it ran away with the magnet. <laughs> They've run off into the sunset together. taken off to Hawaii. It's so exciting seeing uh, lots of demonstrators getting their uh, Maui trip. Stampin' Up! offer a uh, trip every year for two people. And the one thing you have to learn, you never say to a, a demonstrator who is getting one of the trips, oh, it's, congratulations on winning your trip. Never ever say win. <laughs> Because Stampin' Up! demonstrators don't win a trip, they earn it. They earn it, and it takes a lot of work to earn a trip, but it's very exciting that Stampin' Up! offer that. And so uh, the next one is to Maui. I know, Maui, beautiful. Um, but this, in the next, uh, I think in a month's time, where Bruno and I are heading off to Rome. Oh, look at to Rome! <laughs> And then we leave Rome to go on a Greek Isle cruise. Just pinch me now. Seriously. That's why we're so grateful to our customers, to our team members. We're so grateful to everyone that supports us. 
So please follow our blog because we'll be doing like a travel journal. I was stressing myself out thinking, oh my goodness, I have to create all these cards before I leave. And then I looked at Bruno and I said, let's just do a travel journal and everyone can join us. And for those that, because I know there are some people that can't travel, maybe for sickness reasons or um, maybe get seasickness. I know there's some people that don't like cruising and so they kind of don't get to go on these trips. So you're going to come with us. Would you like to come on our trip? You don't even have to go in the suitcase. You can sit at home in your pajamas. But I really, really, really ask one thing that you make a cocktail while you're in your pajamas watching us. <laughs> so we're looking forward to having you come along. <laughs> I'm very excited about this trip. But that took off a lot of stress. Cause I was like, yeah, everyone wants to see Italy. Of course they do. We're staying around the corner from the Trevi Fountain and the Pantheon. <laughs> so beautiful. If someone can write to Anne and say embossing buddy, embossing buddy. Thank you, Christine. Yay! I love it. I love it when you travel with us, Deborah. So yeah, I'm really excited about um, doing the travel journal. And it will definitely take a lot of pressure off. But the, the cool thing is, is we still have um, the swaps for the Greek Isles. Plus, we're going to be meeting a lot of demonstrators around Italy because there's a lot of people going there early. And even on the cruise, is there a particular demonstrator that you love to follow? Is there someone that you'd love me to say hello to? Um, who would you like me to stalk? I've stalked Tammy White before. That was a lot of fun. We were like taking photos of her while she was at breakfast. <laughs> I mean, she did photo bomb us later, but... <laughs> She, she did pay back. But is there someone that you want me to stalk? Patty Bennett? I can stalk Patty Bennett for you. We'll do like sneaky shots. With their permission, of course. <laughs> How beautiful is this looking, people? <laughs> so easy, too. But I'm going to step it up a notch. We don't have the markers yet. They're coming. But we'll just, we'll just make do with what we have because, you know, we don't have terracotta tile yet. And I can't use blends with embossing because what happens when you use blends with embossing is it colors the embossing powder. So it's great if you want your embossing powder colored, but not so great if you just want to do inside. So I'm going to get my Cajun craze. Like my, let me get my beautiful stamp and write markers out. Oh my goodness, look at these. Aren't they the best? Who uses their stamp and write markers? Oh, Dina! I can totally stop Dina. Oh, isn't Patty coming? That makes me sad. Yeah, we love stalking Dina. In fact, on one of the last, um, on the Alaskan trip, Dina and I were doing a powwow about how to get her on the tutorial bundle because I really love her work. And there was a whole jar of... Um, what we thought was um, M&M's and Donna Gray. Oh, I'm so excited. She's going on her first trip. I am so, so excited for her. She's the bomb. Oh, Emma Goddard. Emma's so cool. Emma's on our tutorial bundle too. Yeah. Oh, you so will, Donna. You can earn a trip. Totally. Totally. You've got to earn at least one. Just make it your mission. Just, I have to get to one trip. Oh, a postie came. But yes, so Dina and I were sitting there having a powwow and all the M&Ms were in front of us. And they, <laughs> Stephen up said, we're closing the room. We're closing off the room now. So um, you all have to go and eat as much as you can because it's, yeah, it's going to go. We can't eat it. So Dina and I, we got my bag and we poured 
the M&Ms in the bag. I reckon there was like two kilos of M&Ms in the bag. <laughs> and it turned out it was peanut, peanut M&Ms. <laughs> we still ate them, but it was so funny. I was carrying them around every demonstrator. I saw I'm like, would you like some, would you like some M&Ms from the room? <laughs> so naughty. Patsy! Oh my goodness, Patsy. We spent an amazing time with Patsy and Allison. We got to go on their table in Alaska and we were kind of like, oh, hi, yeah, hi. Like, you know, know of each other, but hadn't really met. We hit it off like a house on fire. Those girls are amazing. And those hubbies of yours, beautiful men, just love them. We just had so much fun. We didn't want to miss dinner because we wanted to catch up with you all. And there was one night we went there and no one was there. And we were like, oh, we miss our friends. <laughs> we're like, where have our friends gone? It really was wonderful. We had a great time. We have to make sure we have one dinner together at least. Even if we're not on the same table, we'll kick someone off your table and go on yours. <laughs> we'll be like, sorry, move over. We're, we're jumping in. We want to eat with these beautiful people. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I'm totally going to be stalking Sarah and Shelly. Make sure we get photos with them. Hopefully we get lots of um, video of Bruno doing karaoke. We love doing our karaoke. Last, I think there was a couple of trips ago, Shelly even came to Bruno's karaoke, which was cool. So you just want to be careful with these markers not to spend too much time in one place because they're water-based. Oh, what we will have to be careful of. Oh, no, it's good. It's not like blends. It doesn't bleed through. So that's good. But don't, don't go too long because otherwise it will. <laughs> but if you did find that you got a little bit of bleeding. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Are you still there? Yes, you can hear my voice. I just have to, because someone decided to call me. How dare they? How dare they call during a live video? I knew there was one thing I forgot to do today, and that's turn, turn on Do Not Disturb. I think I'll have to do, oh no, the spare phone looks, oh, that one looks dodge too. We will return. We will be back with vision very soon. I think I'm almost there. Yes. I think we've got it. Come on. It's got like the spinning wheel. Like, come on, thinking. Stop thinking, just do. Just join already. Yes, I might have to go out of the screen. Ugh, don't you hate technology sometimes? So while I'm here, I'll put notifications on in case that lovely person wants to call back again. Now they can't. <laughs> now you're banned. <laughs> okay, that worked. Good. So I'll just put this back at least, and then we'll do the other camera. Again. at least I know how to fix it now when it does do that but it would be a whole lot better if I just put it on do not disturb in the first place wouldn't it okay spare phone capish I've got two phone setups here Alrighty, I think we're in business. Okay, can we see that okay? Everything's happy. Everyone's joyful. Yay! <laughs> oh dear, but at least I put it on Do Not Disturb so it can't happen again, which is good because that would be the worst. Did I miss any other... Um, people that you want me to stalk who are your other fans who are you fangirling on 
What about Robin Carden? I can stalk Robin. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that you can you can live through us, Kerry. Pretend you're there. Yes. You're going to have a lot of fun on our trip, I'm telling you. We're taking you all over. In fact, I've booked us all a um, an excursion. We're going bike riding through the countryside of Italy. <laughs> We're going to go come on a bike ride with us. Yeah. Because that's what we do when we go to Italy. Go for a bike ride. In fact, my mum bought us a, a gift when she heard that we were going to, to Paris. She bought us a gift and it was a bike tour of the Garden of Versailles. And my mum is an avid gardener. She just loves her garden and she loves, um, yeah, she's just so good with plants. It's ridiculous. She has the green thumb. So she bought us this bike tour and we enjoyed it so much. Like we were really apprehensive at first because we, we weren't that fit and we're still not overly fit now. But um, the one that we went on had um, power assist. So we sort of weren't as apprehensive. And I hadn't been on a bike since I was a kid. But I'm like, no, let's do this. This is going to be fun. And it was just the most beautiful, beautiful thing we've ever done. Like being able to get on the bike and go through those gardens of Versailles. And I actually found that I enjoyed the gardens more than the actual palace. <laughs> the palace was really gaudy and, yeah, not, not my thing at all. Very ostentatious. Um, but the gardens were just spectacular. The fountains. We got to sit by this beautiful moat and eat our lunch uh, it was just gorgeous it was breathtaking so now everywhere we go we try and do one of these bike tours because then after that we're like well let's do that in the champagne region so then we did a champagne bike tour which was pretty hilarious because after a few champagnes don't know whether it's a good idea to get on a bike <laughs> bike and champagne <laughs> and then add a bit of rain yeah Kylie goes sliding, but you know, everything was fine. I didn't break any bones, so that was good. Uh, and then we ended up doing it in the UK. We visited, um, saw Diana's memorial, Princess Diana, and we just cycled around that park. I don't know what the name of it is, but it was so good. We, we, I just really enjoyed that time with Bruno. So there's our card. How simple is that? Oh, you've always wanted to go to Italy, Carrie. Oh. What did you laugh at, Bruno? <laughs> are, you, are you laughing at my my um, bike ride? <laughs> so I am very, very happy with these cards. And you can see that they just come up so beautifully and so simple. So easy, so simple. Yeah, really, really good. So you can sort of step it up that little bit more. But if you wanted to, again, you could then like have all the layers of the flowers in the background and use this one here and cut it out with a punch and then have that. <laughs> you heard Bruno laughing from the other room, yeah. <laughs> Were you laughing at me falling, Bruno? I don't know what he's laughing at, but he can't hear me because he's probably got his headphones on now. <laughs> no, Bruno's not saying hello today. He has like chest cold. He looks crazy. He has bed hair. <laughs> oh, such a pleasure, Anne. We're really happy for you. <laughs> Bravo. Love, 26th anniversary. You can say congrats to Anne. 26 years, her photos were so beautiful. So sweet, so happy. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Marilyn. The gardens were closed. You have to go back. That's it, you have to go back because it was just so beautiful. Yes, so the colors, Rosalie, terracotta tile. Light pink, I know random, but I've used it with Blushing Bright and it works very nicely. Um, balmy Blue, 
and Old Olive. So they're the four colors that you can get. And of course, you could do the same thing with the Old Olive. I think if you did it with the, the embossing, it would look great. And the Balmy Blue, the idea that I had with the Balmy Blue, which I think would be really lovely, is doing the white embossing. And then I thought using Night of Navy to color it in. Oh yeah, that will look really good. Yeah, we want to keep it simple, right? But I just wanted to show you one tip while I've got my camera facing this way because some of you may be new and haven't had the Stampin' Up! inks before. We've got our brand new ink colours which have just come out. Now just to explain what's happening with the Purple Posy because some of you have had problems putting in the order for everything all at once. Um, still do your order, still put in the four. And Stampin' Up! will definitely help you. And if Stampin' Up! doesn't help you, I will. Because you, you, some were saying, well, I'm going to miss out on the discount. Because you get 10% off um, if you get them in a bundle. But don't stress. Just get the four. And when the Purple Posey comes back, then you can order it then. And we'll work something out for you. I know we will. Because I'll be able to track what you've ordered. Now, when you get your stamp pads, what you'll notice on the back, and I've left the terracotta tile to show you, but on the back you have a label that you can attach to the front of your card. The easiest way to do this is see where it's got like the little, it's almost like a little page folding and saying here, here I am, click here. And what you do is you just make sure that everything stays down like that and then you just pull that whole thing off. You don't need that. Bin it, do not keep it, you don't need it. Goodbye. <laughs> And then you grab the one in your language, or if you want to learn another language, you can put Tomet, Ziegelrot. I like Ziegelrot. From now on, this is now Ziegelrot. Let's pull it out. How <laughs> Ziegelrot? I really like that. That's fun. It's much more fun than terracotta tile. I feel like it's like saying Rococo Rose. What? How do they say it in the other language? Rococo Rosa. Rose Rococo. Oh, it's the other way around. Sorry, can't read kanji. <laughs> nah, can't read that. Sorry. <laughs> can't read. Can only read hiragana and even that pretty badly. So you want to stick that on your, your um, ziggurat. Stick it on your ziggurat stamp. And there you go. And then we have a plain one here. <laughs> you always put the most fun, fun sounding foreign language on the inside. <laughs> I love it, Sarah. I want to see what pretty peacock is. You've got to, you've got to try it. You've got to go, pa on pimpant. That is, oh, try and say this one. We all know how to say this. Fanugarin. Fanugarin. I can't, I can't, oh, I know some of these. Ui, uh, no. Nah. I know that one's se. Se, I don't know what that one is. Se, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. You say tampon. <laughs> I think the first time we saw, what, tampon? What? <laughs> Who's talking about tampons? <laughs> oh, stamp. Right. <laughs> so you just get the blank one and that fits perfectly inside. I don't think the foreign language ones fit inside. Now, one thing you have to learn with these is you can pull them off if you need to, <laughs> if you get it really bad. But also don't get too pedantic because they're never going to be perfectly straight or even Look, look at mine. Maybe not that bad. <laughs> Maybe you can do a little bit better than me. <laughs> I don't know how to do tea. I can do it in. I can do it in Australian. T e a terry co terracotta. That's Australian sign. But I can't do American. I'm sorry. 
I only can do Australian sign. <laughs> Look how bad this is. I probably, note to self, probably use tweezers to begin with with this. <laughs> because it is a little, little fiddly. There we go. That's better. I think that's got it. Yay. Now it's happy. So there you go. Learn from me. Learn what not to do. But I think now the um, foreign language ones don't don't fit inside because they're a different size to that strip. I think in the old ones they used to. Maybe you can put it, maybe we'll put it in here. I'm going to put it in there. <laughs> It'll get inked on though, but that's okay. I really want to remember Ziggurat. It's got to remind me. Maybe I'll, I'll put it on this side. Ziggurat can go on this side. Does it fit down here? Yeah. I'm going to put it on here. And that'll make me that'll make me have a good laugh every time I see it. Ziggurat terracotta tile. <laughs> what are the other ones? Oh, souffle. Ah, I want a souffle. Give me souffle. De cum. De cum. Souffle de cum. Seaside spray. How does that, how do you get souffle from a spray? Plum de pomme. I like the French one. Fleedler. Fleedler. Fleeder. 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 <laughs> oh, so fun. I think this could be a game that we play. Everyone has to get on and and say the say the stamp names in the other language. Rakubla. Hi. Rakubla. Hi. Are you helping me me with my German? T. Oh yes. E. Yeah. R. R. Yeah. A. Yeah. C. O. T. T. A. T. I. L. L. E. Go Bruno! <laughs> Bruno's so good with sign language, it's ridiculous. Even Australian sign. He needs to learn more because he's very good at it. Very good, Bruno. So there you go. That we had fun with that. <laughs> we had a lot of language learning going on. <laughs> Ziggurat. Ziggurat is a beautiful colour. Why do I have to change my... Oh, I suppose you do change the accent, though. There is an accent involved. It's like when we go, Namaste. We have to move our head. Namaste. It goes with it. Akesehe. How are you? So let's do our beautiful picture here. Oh, better not hold up a blank one. That would be a bit random. I'll hide, I'll hide the stamps. Oh, no, because I need to put a border at the bottom. <laughs> Ziggurat. <laughs> Yay. Yes. So I want to show you a few random act of kindness cards. Of course, you don't have to stay if you don't want to, but if you'd like to see these beautiful cards that I have received, I've been wanting to film these for a long time. That's how crazy it's been around here. But I have a lot of beautiful, beautiful people to thank for our random act of kindness. And some of these are also for uh, the 10 year anniversary too. So this beautiful card, a brand new paper, sail, come, come sail away, sail with me. <laughs> this is from the beautiful Leone uh, from Sydney. She said, just a note of thanks for filming my talk at On Stage. She did the most amazing talk at uh, the Silver Elite reception. I really appreciate your help and support. Thank you, Leonie. And she gave us chocolates as well. So sweet. Thank you. Oh, that's brilliant, Ellen. So they should. Of all languages for them to learn. Absolutely. Sign language is a must. Yeah, definitely. Lovely card from Rita. Thank you, Rita. She just rang me this morning and I couldn't take her call because I was preparing for our video. 
but thank you so much reader this is amazing look what she's done i have to ask her how she did it in fact it's so incredible i'm like is it embossing paste i think it is but it's very raised so it might be something else but whatever it is oh, you know what it is i think it's silver um embossing paste anyway i'll find out from her because it's amazing love it oh sarah go to sleep bubba good night stroke here that's what my mum used to do to get me to go to sleep. I did that with my with my friends' twins, and then you and then you put it over their eyes so it makes them close their eyes, and then they realise, oh, I have to go to bed now. What's the other one? The tissue, the tissue on the eyes, makes them close, and then they can't fight it any longer. It's all over. They crash and burn. Then, I'm like sleep time. Now I have to make sure I put all the envelopes and cards together. Because then I lose track of who's who and then I get very sad. This one's from Karen. Thank you very much, Karen. It's, she's a lovely customer of ours. And Jessie will be really excited because your envelope has a, a non-stamped stamp. <laughs> yeah. She said, loving the videos. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you, Karen. Love it, chop it. Love it. Brilliant. Thank you, Karen. We've got one from Rebecca Jo. Rebecca Jo is in my team. She said, Dear Kylie Bruno and the wonderful assistant, Jessie, thank you for all your hard work and support from Rebecca Jo. And look at her beautiful card. Look at what she's done. Gold embossing with the vases. And she's done the frame around the outside of it. So beautiful. Love it. Brilliant card, Rebecca Jo. You're so talented. So good. Yeah, it really does work. That's exactly what I did to my brothers and sisters to get them to sleep. I'd be like, close your eyes, close your eyes. <laughs> And the tissue, the tissue is good too. The tissue is very good. Not that I have, you know, a huge amount of experience in the area of children. <laughs> Don't have any kids, but I did raise all my brothers and sisters. I've done, I've done my parent duty. I taught them to swim. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. My sister's coming tonight. <laughs> I get to see my sister, my baby sister. She was like seriously like my baby. I raised that little girl. She was mine. Even if mum wanted to do something. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. She just stayed with me all the time. Little baby. In fact, hopefully Bruno can bring in the photo. You can, he can bring in the photo of my sister and I when we were little. You can see how close we were. So cute. And we still are close. But, you know, it's different when you're together all the time. Now I barely get to see you. <laughs> Barb Henriksen. She's given me a beautiful random act of kindness card. Check out this beautiful card. <gasps> Tin tile, gorgeous grape. Absolutely adore it. Beautiful. Just stunning. Thank you so much, Barb. You're so talented. So many talented stampers. Love it. Oh, did you bring the photo? Oh, look at us. Thanks, Bruno. Look at this. It's my little sister and me. Look how close we were. It was like that all the time. We just were like almost inseparable. I was constantly cuddling her and taking pictures of her. Yeah. I pulled it out because I knew she was coming. No, oh, little Angelina. Little baby Angelina. Just so cute. <laughs> uh, so this one is from Noreen Meekins and this is another random act of kindness from our group if you're not in the random act of kindness group definitely jump in beautiful love it chop it gorgeous uh, oh Jeanette Cobb 
she wrote some beautiful things. She just said uh, to let us know how much I, I appreciate all the work you do, even to help demonstrators out. Even though I'm not on your team, I feel the love. And thank you for starting the group on Facebook. Um, she gave us some gifts as well, some glass, like some necklaces. So beautiful. Yes, that's it. I think I was 12 too, Pam. I was 12 years old. Thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful card. And that was Jeanette. Thanks, Jeanette. Mwah. We've got one from Ruth. And when I got um, when I get Ruth's cards, it always reminds me of my grandma's writing. Oh, it's so beautiful. It it take it makes me nostalgic. She said, "You've taught me so much. I appreciate that you let me." Um, yeah, this is what I would do with my grandma. Play along. <laughs> I'm I'm loving the rack group and love it. Chop it. Um, and, and even though I have my designer series paper, no, she said, and now I have my designer series paper under control. Thanks to you. <laughs> I'm using one of my favorite retiring sets and colors. I thought I'd send a couple to you. Oh, thank you, Ruth. She's very sweet. Excellent. Very thoughtful too. Um, we've got one here from Paula. She said, thanks for everything you do. She's at one of our lovely customers and she, she got one of her loyalty rewards. See you, Ellen. Have fun. Thank you very much for that, Paula. Uh, what else have we got here? Our oh, pen. Just a short note to say thank you for all your help and understanding. Love your work, Pam. And this was Pam Lewis. Oh, Pam is beautiful. Thank you, Pam. Gorgeous. Love it for you. Ah, oh, yes, this was from our team member, Shirley. We did swaps and she included this to say thank you for, the, for doing the swaps, which was a lot of fun. We love the Crazy Crafters swaps. Uh, another one from Leonie. She's so sweet. Leonie, another beautiful card. And she's um, stamped the back of the embossing on that one, the embossing folder, and then run it through. It's so cute. So many beautiful cards. Now this one here. Oh, Sandra Mustello, that's right. She thanked me for thanked us for doing the swap. Beautiful card, Sandra. She's one of my team members who's rocking it. She's doing so well. Did a launch party this week and it went really well. She had a lot of fun. And everyone loved the catalogue. I know. Surprise. Um, Shelly. Shelly sent us this card. And what is sweet about Shelly's card, I think there's another side of it. Yes, there it is. I'll get both of them together. So Shelly made a card for both Bruno and I. And she did the floating card technique. Isn't that beautiful? And she's done all of that stamping and, and cut it out. We we're so appreciative of the, all this hard work. Just absolutely beautiful, Shelly. Thank you. She said she may thank you for your wonderful videos and especially the ones that you did it on stage. Thank you, Bruno. Bruno did all of those. Truly, I appreciate all you do for others. I made these cards after Bruno's very good video. It looked so easy and I really enjoyed making them and I wanted to send them both, she said, to you and Bruno to show my cards. I hope you'll enjoy. Pass along if you wish. No, stunning. <laughs> Just thank you so much. We know how much work goes into that. So we really appreciate that, your generosity. And we've got... Uh, just for you. Oh, this is a beautiful card. From Janine. I thought I'd make you a card to thank you for everything that you do. Oh, you guys. So sweet. Look at that. That's just so pretty. And then it opens like this. Oh, isn't that clever? I like that technique. It's good to remember that with the thinlets. Thank you, Janine. Beautiful. And we've got 
This one here, I think this is our last one. Me, I must have the anniversary ones in a different pile somewhere. They've disappeared somewhere. So this is from Ingi. Um, Ingi is from my, one of my customers and she has done an incredible job with this layering and beautiful flowers. She said, thank you for all you do for us. And she's sent through a redemption card for a loyalty program. I love looking after my customers, my team as well. So lovely. And then it all comes back in ways you don't expect. Surprises you all the time. So thank you all very much for being here. Can you believe it? Epic. An hour and a half. We had a big session today, but it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of things to catch up on. I do want to show you this uh, beginner's brochure before I head off because there's a few stamp sets in there that you might want to see. Ugh, this annoying pop-up won't go away. <laughs> the phone call is stalking me. <laughs> it's, it's just sitting there staying like, no, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm like, how do I get rid of it? Because <laughs> I, I can't really show someone's phone number on a live video, can I? Maybe if I shut down FaceTime, that might do it. Let's force quit it. Hopefully that works. <laughs> Either that. Yes, it worked. I love switch it off. Have you switched it off? <laughs> okay, now I could show you the screen. So let's have a look. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. And show you this brochure. Yeah, that's better. Uh, anyway, we'll have a look. So... Mm, that one. Here's the brochure. I'll just put my little head in there somewhere. Okay, so this brochure is specifically for people who haven't stamped before because the annual catalogue can be very, very overwhelming. So Stampin' Up! have released this brochure to help us... Uh, just understand what card making is all about and if you have any questions about uh, starting card making if you live in Australia well no matter where you live in the world you can ask about um, card making if you're watching my videos I'm happy to direct you to someone that can help you I've got a big list of people that you can you can um, go to and um, if you live in Australia you definitely can purchase through us but sadly only Australians can purchase through us but it has lots of information to show you exactly what you need like I said in this brochure will help you with the basics and show you basically what things mean so what are cling stamps what a photopolymer um, easy ordering if you see the video icon it means that there's a YouTube video to explain more so the best thing to start with is definitely the kits and the kits are perfect because uh, they're already pre-printed and it comes with everything that you need see everything you need is in the kit so it's a great way to sort of see if card making is for you whether it's something that you enjoy uh, and before you start sort of purchasing things that make multiple cards you can still use certain things from this but you would need to order sort of extra card stock and things like that but this is great because it's just one complete kit. You can sort of see, you know, make it with some friends or do it in one afternoon. Maybe you've got a, a son or daughter that likes crafting. You can make it together as a family, something for the kids to do. And it's just really nice family time. Could even be you time. You maybe need some self-care and you need to look after your, after your stress levels. Crafting definitely brings down the stress levels much better than going to the doctor. This is so much more fun than the doctor. <laughs> so that has everything you need, this, the sentiments and everything. So that's what's in the kit. You get the um, block. It says 
put the stamp to your block. So you're going to get the ink and put it on there. Um, then, then ink it, then stamp. So you're going to stamp it on the little piece that they give you. Then add the decorative piece to the border and then, and then adhere the sentiment to the card. And then that's it, you're done. And there are other kits in the annual catalog that you can use. So you can have a look at those as well. If you find that kit enjoyable, there are other kits or you could purchase the same kit. Um, but it's nice to have a few different stamp sets and then that gets your stamp sets happening. So you've already got some sentiments that you can use and that really helps sort of get your collection together. So like the card that we made today, then after you've got all those beautiful sentiments from that kit here, um, from this one, then you're off because you can make something like this, um, like you've got your, your sentiment already. You just need to get something flowery and that could come from one of the other kits, I think. The notes of Cart kindness might have a floral one, but yeah, as you collect the kits, you'll collect stamps with it. Then you've got these beautiful quick and easy tags and it shows you how to make those. And there's a stamp set there that you can purchase. And a lot of these stamp sets are not found in the annual catalog. I'm not sure about, I think this one is in the annual catalog under kits, but all of our kits are found on page. I'll get the exact page for you to look at. And if you don't have an annual catalogue, please let me know. If you live in Australia and you want one, yeah, it's in the catalogue on page 202. So you can see all of the kits on that page. So that's a great place to begin if you are new to stamping. Those three kits are all inclusive. They have everything you need. You do not have to get anything extra than what is in the kit and it's hours of fun and you'll have these beautiful cards that you can make. So that's definitely the place to start. The tags, so it's got all the information about how to make the tags. Ooh, yummy cookie. <laughs> um, we've got these beautiful ones here, which is the um, Magnolia Bloom. And using the Memories and More cards makes it really, really simple to create a card very easy. Uh, so yeah, very, very quick. And these stamps here, so you can see there's one, two, and then these ones here. So this is actually a perfect stamp set to get if you wanted to replicate something like this, really simple and easy. And that um, stamp set is only $24 Australian, which is really, really affordable and really good uh, to start with and you might just get um, some black ink to go with it and you're off and if you wanted one other color up to you what color you want to choose you might want to get some of the blushing bride and then you can make make all of these note cards get some of the note cards so that would be yeah quite affordable to get that and you'll have a lot of fun you can just keep replacing the note cards Keep making them until you feel more confident and then you can try some other things as well. Quick and easy stamping, which is what we did today. This is totally quick and easy stamping and yet it looks beautiful. And again, you've got this stamp set that's perfect. It can go on these um, note cards. So even like these, there's white note cards as well and that makes things very quick and easy too. And it has all the information you need to get those. And how cute are all these the little hearts and the little letterbox. Yeah, so you get all of those stamps there. And then there's this set as well that's really sweet. So some really small sets, but great to begin with. They have sentiments and pictures. So it's really great for the beginner stamper. Um, but I know personally, I made sure that I got these stamps that aren't in the catalog because I'm like, I want them too. So don't miss out if you're already a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or even a customer who's an avid crafter. Great stamps, really sweet, cute. Um, and it shows you here, you can even step it up. So some really great tips. You know, talk to your demonstrator. If you need support, just know that you have a lot of support, a lot of advice, a lot of videos out there that can help you. And you've got all of your products here that you can get. So you can see this is on the simple stamping list um, you've got my cleaner that you saw the chamois 
the memento as I mentioned get a black black ink some Tombow glue is great and some little snips and one block that's really good that's a great starting place it's like here this is where you can begin if you've never ever stamped before here's a great beginning so that is a really great tool and it's going to be very helpful to so many who are just new to stamping have never done card making before not sure where to begin perfect it's all done for you so we have some of those beginner brochures coming um, if you would like a copy of a beginner brochure please just send us a, an email or a message and we will get that out to you particularly if you have never stamped before this is perfect for you uh, or I can even send you the link if you're happy just to get the link but you know you may want the little brochure in your hand so yeah definitely have a look at that and let us know if you would like one and that is a wrap it's been wonderful being with you today make sure you check out the blog hop tonight over on our blog kyliebatucci.com I love Tombow glue too my Tombow's the best um, so yeah, definitely, um, I think it, no, it's one of our ordinary blocks, Rosalie. Yep. Yeah. So definitely check out our blog tonight because we're going to have that. And if you want the tutorial bundle for June, you can, uh, purchase that now, or if you place an order, you'll get that for free. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions about the new catalog, need any help, not sure where to start because there's so many beautiful things then we're here to help you and um, we know that it, it can get overwhelming at first but that magnolia lane is a great place to start <laughs> it's so beautiful beautiful sentiments and and a beautiful stamp set for so many different occasions thank you all very much for being here love spending time with you all and love hearing from you please um, say hello if you're watching the replay leave the comments below and yes I'll definitely tell Brenna to feel better thank you Pam and before I go I'll show you one thing I'm very proud of this so I have to show you because it's just like this is a momentous moment I'm telling you it's like a really big deal for me <laughs> it really is I'm like I can't believe it but for the first time I mean, I did it in the Philippines, but I didn't, I wasn't on my own, but I made bread. Oh, it's Turkish bread too, my favorite. Look at that. I did, I did the kneading of the dough in my Thermomix, my new Thermomix, my new toy, and then cooked the bread. And now I have my own Turkish bread. And I made homemade hummus and tzatziki with my homemade yogurt. I know. Can you believe it? I'm like, I feel like I'm a domestic goddess. I'm really not, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm getting better and I've got to ice these today. I'm going to my uncle's place tonight to see my sister and her family dinner. So I've got to ice these chocolate cakes, put chocolate butter icing and uh, Maltesers on top. It's going to be delish. And then I made all of these too. This was all this week. See what I mean? We've got visitors coming, we've got people staying. Look at that. <gasps> Banana bread, a raspberry coconut loaf. And in the background, I did cauliflower mash for the first time for my keto. <laughs> no, Kerry, you're here live. <laughs> you're, you're watching it for real. <laughs> I know, it's going to be so good to have sister time. I don't think I've got any other things. Oh, what, what else did I have here? No, I think that was it. I was reminiscing the other day. This is so sweet. And Bruno, Bruno and I in um, in Paris. Do I look French? Oui, oui. We were at the, the Louvre. Yeah, so sweet. We've got lots of, lots of great memories together. So you're going to be traveling with us all, okay? We can't wait to have you with us. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I did have the tutorial bundle there. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I don't know what photos I have here. So there you go. <laughs> See you in a zillion hours. <laughs> uh, 
So yes, very good to see you all. Lots of cooking, lots of friends, lots of family this weekend. So whatever you're doing, make sure you're having fun. Make sure you remember all the positive things and the good things in your life. Be appreciative and stay happy. And if you have any nasty um, messages going on in your head, we have a new rule in this house. When Jesse and Bruno, they say, oh, you idiot to themselves. I make them say five nice things about themselves. So it's good to do that. Be kind to yourself, look after yourself and have a wonderful week and think about being positive. Stay happy. Ciao for now. Good to see you all.